Hello, Terry Caliendo here again from Dedicated Managers, and um, just moving on in this um, this this uh, overview of of this web application that I'm creating for the local nonprofit Foster Kinship, um, uh, using a uh, using Vue, um, and and here is the the prototype that I've shown in a lot of the videos so far, and um, so in this um, in this tutorial in this overview. I want to talk about Vuetify, and I've kind of talked about it already. Um, I don't know how far in depth I've gone. Um, I think I've shown some of the different objects in, in the very first video. Um, so I'll, I'll probably keep this pretty brief and, and just kind of show that um, where it, where Vuetify shows up in code, um, or I'll just be my usual self and just talk forever uh, and hopefully not bore you to death. Um, so Vuetify is what makes our web application look Beautiful, beautify, beautify, get it with instead of a B, a V, beautify. Um, it makes it look nice. And, and beautify uses the, um, if we go back to their homepage, um, let me just get back to the homepage here. Um, beautify is, it uses the material design that was developed by, um, by Google. So um, if you create an app, um, or create a website or whatever you want to call it, with Vuetify, you're going to end up with your website or project looking a lot like a Google website. Um, if you use Bootstrap, um, you know, get Bootstrap, um, get Bootstrap.com. This was developed by Twitter. So if you create, um, you know, a website using the Bootstrap um, theming uh, front end, um, you're going to look a lot like a, a Twitter website. So what's happening is, um, in, in order to get websites to to act nicely on all the different um, t devices that are out there now, from phones to tablets to um, you know to computers, um, everything needs to look good everywhere, and that's what's called responsive design. Um, and, and that's what uh, Material does for you, is it helps you with that nice look as well as the responsive design so that when I, um, if I was to shrink the page, so if I'm here and, um, you know, as the page shrinks, it changes. Um, so this is how a person on a phone would, see, would experience the website with these three components stacked and somebody on a computer sees them side by side and that's called responsive because it's the same web page it's just being displayed differently based on how big the the screen is so and I can actually go and show you you know what it would look like on an iPhone 6 and if I rotated that iPhone 6 what it would look like rotated um, so that's kind of the develop, development back end or I can just show the you know the individual sizes and we can start to see how the website changes um, and that's view is handling all a lot of that for us um, with its components, and then it makes these nice um, pieces of the website um, that that make it easier for us to make it look, um, you know, look very good uh, with without a lot of work. Um, you know, these shadows that are on here, um, you know, the the hover effects. Um, if I go back to regular, you know, um, mouse over type stuff, when I click on things, you saw that little um, how it it it, it um, radiated out from where I clicked. That's not happening there, but if I click on the store, you see that that radiation happens. That's all you know, pretty stuff that, that happens to, to make the exp user experience more like what they would expect from a, a, a professional um, app or website. Um, so Vue has a ton of you know, different things that you can use it for um, in, in your website to make your website look pretty. Um, you know, mostly you're going to use the components, um, alerts. This is actually alert here, so you don't have to do the styling as far as, you know, making this, um, this little icon and the color red with the white. You just, you just tell it to, um, put this component in and, and it does the work for you. Um, so if I actually, if I go to an alert, um, and you can see these are the different alerts, um, you know, I'm not, there's no color coding going on here. I'm just telling it that it's an alert. Of type success, and and so then I just I get to stick to just putting my data in there or or whatever I'm trying to communicate um, to the to the user. Um, so there's no color green here. I just tell it type success or type info, 
and then it does the styling to make it look nice with all the different shadowing, the check marks or the, the icons. All that stuff is done for you. And again, I think I showed earlier, um, you know, here's my, um, my website has a very simple footer, but you can have, you know, all the different stuff that you, you would typically get in a footer. Um, and that component can then float at the bottom of the screen. It can, um, you know, uh, all this different view to, view to fricious, I can't even say the word, beautified, um, you know, stuff. Um, and again, so let's let's dive into code a little bit. I've gotten a little long there I, uh, as far as the explanation. Um, so let me dive into the code a little bit. I'll get back to where is Beautify. There's, there's Beautify. And here's my code. And so again, if everything starts at the main JS, that's what's, what's loaded into the, the main app.js first. And here's, you can see I import the Beautify framework. And so Beautify, I tell it to work with, um, with Vue by saying, hey, Vue, use this Beautify stuff um, to make my life easier. And, and um, if I wanted to change the theming colors, that's what I could do here. I have it commented out right now, so I'm just using the standard colors. But if I wanted to change the colors, um, you know, you can do it real easily as far as some of the main um, components. Um, you know, I can have that success that I had before. Instead of being red, I can have it be orange if I wanted success to be orange for some reason. Um, so that's how Vue to Fi, Vue to Fi gets loaded into Vue is just through this simple Vue use. And now in my components, um, where I start to load the different pages, so my login component, um, instead of using um, HTML, I'm now using the view components, and so I'm using views text field rather than putting a um, you know an input type text uh, field in HTML. I just use this view thing, and it does that the rest of it for me, but it does all the styling and makes it look pretty. So um, you know um, if I sign back out, this form here. Um, looks good because it's I'm using the Vue framework to make it look a certain way. Um, I don't really have, as you lose a little bit of control, but you can still style it the way you, with colors and stuff, but you lose control, some of the control as far as how it looks. I can't suddenly decide I want this to be a box. I could, but it would take a lot more work and then I might as well just go back to just using straight HTML. So I'm kind of locked into their their style but um, if you like their style, then then it's great to move forward with all with all the components. So again, um, you know, instead of uh, here, I'm, I'm I'm putting a button that's the sign in button um, and and all this hover stuff. And when I click on it, that that um, that radiation that goes out from the click, that's all done by Beautify just by me telling them to use a button um, and, and and do that natively. Um, and you can you can customize that behavior as far as you know how it radiates and stuff like that. Um, so let's look at one more thing. Let's take a look at like say um, the well. Let's look at the 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 toolbar here. So if I go back to the app.view, this toolbar component is actually controlled by um, by Beautify. And so um, when I load this toolbar component. Um, I'm actually saying, so here's, uh, use the icon dashboard, that's this right here, and do it in your icon style. Um, here's the title that I give it, um, so that's what shows up here. And then I do this spacer, which makes it nice so that my sign-in gets pushed to the right. Uh, and then, um, you know, I have my toolbar items that, that um, you know, look nice uh, over on the side. Um, so, um, you know, that's Beautify doing, handling that. Um, there's not too much to show there because it's not that complex yet. Um, so right now I'm just using Vue to have this this toolbar show up at the top. Um, and if I, um, you know, I could go and look at the Beautify um, toolbar. So if I look at toolbars on Beautify, and let's say I wanted the toolbar to, um, let's see, can I show the position? Um, Let's see. Um, let me just pause this and I'll come back after I find it. Okay, so yeah, I can't move the toolbar. Um, I, I got confused there for a second. I can't move the toolbar like from the top to the bottom because that would make it a footer. You might as well use a footer component. But uh, what you can do is play with certain variables that make it, um, you know, whether or not it's it's part of your app. And I don't think I'll be able to show that too clearly here. Um, 
again, I'm getting a, a little out of scope here, but um, if I let's say I just take off this this um, app and clipped um, and save it, and you see that that um, this moved in space uh, upwards, um, the the toolbar is actually now over the the web page. Um, I realize that's getting confusing and I should have uh, prepared a little better, but I'm getting tired and I need to finish this um, because I want to get it out and just get some information out on the web. Um, again, if you're still with me, uh, I'm absolutely blown away um, that you haven't um, started falling asleep and snoring yet. So again, uh, I guess I'll wrap it up here. Uh, um, I've gotten quite a bit off track. Um, view is Beautify is what makes it uh, makes the, the website look pretty. I think that's pretty much all that needs to be said at this point.